Good evening. There is a famous position by Georges Emile Barbier published on May 4th, 1895 in the Glasgow Weekly Citizen. Black was to play and draw. The play should go with rook d6 check, king b5, rook d5 check, king b4, rook d4 check, king b3, rook d3 check, king c2, rook d4, c8 queen, rook c4 check, queen takes c4. As it is widely known, Fernando Saavedra found on May 11, 1895, a beautiful win by c8 rook, when black only can go to a4 to prevent the mate on the a-file, and white forks the rook and the field c1 by king b3. So white easily wins. Sometime later, Someone, it was Lasker, I think, added the move c6 to c7. Then, some time later, in 1981, two Israeli composers found a similar end position, however with a great flow, and published it in Thames sur Sainte Catre. It won the first to second prize in 1981. White plays king d7 since the threat is rook g8 check. Black continues with bishop takes g4 check, rook takes g4, queen takes c7 check, king takes c7, rook takes a7 check, king d8, rook a8 check. If he would take on e7, white easily could win by the Swishen Suk, rook h4 check, king g7, king takes e7, leaving black in a hopeless position. So after rook a8 check, white must play king d7, rook a7 check, king e8, rook takes e7 check. And it seems to be a draw, since king takes e7 fails to rook takes g4. However, white can threaten mate on the h-file by king f8. Black wants to sacrifice his rook again by rook e8 check, when white should take on f7. Again king takes e8, rook takes g4. After king takes f7, it seems to be an easy win for white, but black again has a nice sacrifice by rook g7 check. The idea is rook takes g7, f1 queen, rook takes f1, rook f8 check, king takes f8. However, after f1 queen, rook h7 check, King takes h7, rook takes f1, white can easily win. So here the point is not the final position, but the sacrifices like rook h7 check, and of course the beautiful flow that lets no other variations go. Let's take a look at this again.